There's a crippling digital divide in our nation. Our nation's leaders need to understand that innovation is also costly. We must address the digital divide. This is no longer a nice to have. For many, it is a necessity for a free and appropriate public education. Even before COVID-19, so many of our families lived in crisis. 40% of our families had no reliable access to high-speed internet in their homes. You may not think it because Aldine is urban, but we have spots where there's no connectivity. Access to broadband and technology is a major issue, especially in our urban communities and our rural communities. 68% of our families had no device other than a smartphone to even access that internet. We have students that it's not just they have computers, they actually, their computer is a cell phone, and that's just not appropriate. We know that in order to have learning at home, we have to have devices at home. 20% of our Black families reported not having enough devices in the home. We could not guarantee a device to every student. About 75% of our students are students of color. You know, 60% qualify for free and reduced lunch. Unfortunately, in my state, we don't have a state strategy for this. We certainly don't have a federal strategy or national strategy for it. Clearly, the U.S. education system was not built to deal with extended shutdowns. This isn't like the last pandemic we're gonna have and it's not the last crisis. And we gotta figure out a way that students can maintain their technology. Lack of devices, internet connectivity is a threat to our very way of life in this country.